Hi all, this is Chuck from Alaskan Ballistics. Shooting the Glock 43 today. Uh, we're going to be shooting at some watermelons, we're going to be shooting at uh, some milk jugs, and we're going to be chronographing the Sig Sawyer 124 grain V Crown bullet. This is non plus B rated. Alright, zoom in on it here for you. Alright, it's a nice looking round. You can see here on the box it's supposed to be going 1165. 374 foot pounds of energy. We'll see how close we get to that. It is a Glock 43, so it's got a shorter barrel. And we'll just take a look and see how the hollow point opens up. Hopefully, we can capture a few of them. And we will see you at the range. All right, Sig V Crown, nine millimeter water jugs. Alright, just showing you, it went through the first two water jugs, bounced into the second, third one, went through the first two, bounced into the uh, third one. We cannot find the bullet, we'll still look. Let's put a watermelon in front of it. Alright, here we go, Sig V Crown again. We've got a watermelon, a small watermelon, they don't grow them up here like they did in Georgia. And we got three water jugs behind it. Alright guys, I don't know how I did it here, but somehow I dropped the shot a little low, hit on the edge of the watermelon, somewhere right in here, blew the bottom out, skimmed the table, knocked water out of the first jug, and knocked water out of the second jug. Now, if I were going to brag about how much of a perfect shot I am, I would do this shot over again and edit it out and not show you guys, but I'm human too. It always happens, but the cool thing is we found the bullet in this last water jug here. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, there is your Sig V Crown. One watermelon, two water jugs. Let's take this thing, look at it. You can see it's mangled, that's probably from where it hit the table here. But it's mangled pretty bad. But, nice little star pattern. We're going to hit these watermelon again. Let's see if we can uh, get a better shot. Here we go, take two on the watermelon. All right, as you can see this time, we got more of a square hit on the watermelon. Most of it busted apart. The bullet only went into one water jug. And it is in the bottom of that water jug, so let me wash off the table here and uh, get it out of the bottom of that water jug. All right, here is the Sig V Crown. Very impressive for a non-plus P bullet. Very, very similar pattern in opening up as the uh, Federal HST. You can see it's peeled back both the copper jacket and the lead peel back creating cutting edges very 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 nice bullet I bet you couldn't even tell the difference if I stacked the Federal HST and the Sig V Crown next to each other
impressive. It didn't lose that much velocity. Might have even held its own. All right, that's Chuck from Alaska Ballistics. Sig V Crown. Great little ammo. Seems to run well. Seems to be inexpensive right now. All right, 124 grain, standard pressure, Sig V Crown. Not bad at all. Look at the chronograph slide and the add up for the ballistics and then click, click like and subscribe.